Tell me about your day one. That was that was a really tough day. We hiked that whole stretch and we got up at that peak. It took us three and a half hours to get there. And then trying to find our way up to that TD gap it was all cloudy. Luckily the compass was doing not too bad. How was your sleep Michael? Could be a good baby spot tomorrow. <laughs> oh, a little stone debris on your legs. Yeah. Down that scree slope. Golly, that was that was tough. That was really tough. It's like going down snow. Check the map and now we cannot see. Our next challenge lied ahead, an amazing vertical wall, but first to get our bags across the divide. Gas bay is 
scramble all the way through the TV gap to the Inexis Top Peak where we did some scrambling and upsailing. That was then the three peaks of Scram at it. And we came down all the way here where we had to traverse with a bag and to the top of Biden Drum. That was really cool. Then we make our way across the ridge all the way to Bragna Frite and to the Ambastia the Executioner. Okay, you can see Teshla here in the distance, we're checking the map. According to Teshla, we're going north, and we were supposed to be on a south ridge, so somewhere we've summoned the wrong peak in the mist. So hopefully we can square that away soon, or uh, we're gonna have to start backtracking to get out of here. Yeah, man. Yes! We've reached the absolute summit of Skirm McConnick. The sun is shining, and we have a memory of a climb we lost. How do you feel having completed the reach? I'm a little bummed it's over. Uh, it's pretty great. I want to do the whole thing back to back now. I'm ready to go. Now let me know it. What would have been the highlight of this traverse for you? Was it the approach, the daily three hours approach? No, it was definitely <laughs> not the approach. It was all the scrambling. The scrambling was great, infant was fun. Uh, I really enjoyed the third day. There was a lot of scrambling, some rope work, some short ropes, some, some tread climbing. That was fun. 